the main shareholder to my right here has almost all his net worth in one security. That's likely to be more carefully managed than some public place with people just passing through. Yeah, you don't want a guy that's 64 and is going to retire at 65. I mean, yeah. A lot of decisions you really don't want him or her to be making. <laughs> yeah. You two have demonstrated great talent in private sector capital allocation and shown the world the power of excellence in this area. Do you think there is a similar opportunity for outstanding capital allocation in the public sector at both the state and federal levels? And if so, what approach and or changes would you suggest for society to achieve these benefits? That's too tough. Why don't we go on to a new question? <laughs> I, I'm I afraid I, I have nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be unfair to somebody asking a question, but it, it, you know, it is, it is unfortunately an entirely different game, and uh, the electorate, the motivations are different. The terms of uh, the reward system is is different. I mean, everything is different, and. Uh, if we knew how to solve that, uh, we wouldn't. Uh, we 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 we, are, we can't add anything to what you had. <laughs> your, your view. I'm sorry on that. <laughs>